Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I want to go over some tips on managing your fly line when fishing from a kayak or fly fishing from your kayak. Now, the best way I found to do this is to make yourself some type of stripping basket or buy one. Um, there are a ton of things that you can get caught on on your kayak, uh, get your fly line caught on, such as your foot pegs, um, any type of screws or bolts that might be sticking out, uh, your feet itself, anything can really get snagged on that fly line. Even the knot that I have tied um, from my anchor uh, to my kayak it gets caught on there. So fly line likes to get caught on a lot of things. So what I did was I made a homemade stripping basket uh, just by using a standard milk crate and by putting zip ties in the bottom about three to four inches long uh, scattered all throughout the bottom and what this allows for is when you're stripping your line into the crate it keeps it from coiling up on itself and tangling up it actually helps coil that line up nice and even on the bottom so it doesn't knot itself up so definitely uh, take that into consideration if you do make your own stripping basket now you can use a milk crate or a laundry basket. There are all sorts of different things you can use just to gather that line into so it's not laying down on the floor of your kayak or getting uh, hung up on anything. Also, I put a little piece of uh, uh, pool noodle on there. And what this is for is so you can just hook your fly onto there so your fly uh, isn't dragging in the water or gets itself hooked up on anything else that might be laying around. Now this is very simple to use, just place it in the, um, on the floor of your kayak or mine specifically, that's why I have these zip tied on here, these little pieces of PVC pipe because I have a center console on my kayak that I can place this on top of and then strap it down to, uh, which helps out. So it's really more specific to what type of kayak you have. Just make sure when it is uh, sitting down in front of you, it's nice and secure. Um, that way it doesn't tip over or fall over or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. So here, this is how my crate specifically mounts to my kayak because I have that center console. Uh, you, you can see the PVC pipe that I have on there. Uh, these straps keep this console on and I just use those straps, loosen them up and they're able to fit over the PVC pipe there to keep that um, locked in nice and tight so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, it also gives me enough leg room. As you can see, I can still put my legs in there. I just have to move the foot pegs up a little bit. Uh, that way I can get my foot in there, but works out fine. I can paddle with this right here just fine as long as I'm not going far distances and it works out great. Now, if you don't have this console in the middle, most kayaks just have a open floorboard there. You can just place your crate or any type of stripping basket right there. Another method of helping manage your line when you are stripping your line off your fly reel is to lay a towel down across the floor of your kayak covering up any rod holders or your foot pegs or anything like that that the line might get caught on. So just get a nice big beach towel laid down and you can strip your line down into the towel to avoid any tangles on any equipment that's on your kayak. Now another key part of managing your line effectively on a kayak is having some sort of rod holder in front of you that you can put your fly rod on so your fly rod isn't just laying on your kayak as most fly rods are very long. This can be in the way. It can also um, cause more tangles in your fly line if you just lay your fly rod down on your kayak. So let's go ahead and take a look at a rod holder. This is the standard rod holder that I like to use. It's standard for spinning reels and bait casters. It's made by Scotty. Now it's not specifically made for a fly reel. However, it works just fine. Um, the way I use it, it has this little rubber piece that keeps it locked in. And I'll simply place my fly rod in it upside down and it holds it right in there just like so without a problem. And if you wanna lock it down while you're paddling, all you have to do is move that little rubber piece over and it's not going anywhere. So this is a great rod holder to use. Scotty does make a rod holder specifically for, uh, for fly rods. However, as you can see, it's not really necessary. They work just fine in their standard rod holders. All right, so now I've told you the methods that you can use to help manage your fly line when fishing from a kayak and also a uh, type of rod holder that you can use for your fly rod. Now let's go ahead and get on the water and take a look at these things in action. So here's the first method of managing your line, your fly line from your kayak. Uh, either using a stripping basket, whether it be homemade or store-bought. As you can see, the lion easily comes out of the basket and gives you a place to uh, strip your line down into without it having uh, to get tangled up on your rod holders, foot pegs, or anything that may be 
on or attached to your kayak. So it's a very easy and efficient method of managing your fly line from your kayak. Here's the next method of using a towel. It's a lot simpler than using a crate. You don't have the big bulky crate or stripping basket in front of you. And also the towel doesn't take up much room for storage. So definitely a good option to use. However, it is a towel and if hooks get caught onto it, that can kind of cause a headache. So just be careful about that. And also if this gets wet, it will add a little extra weight to your kayak as these towels absorb a lot of water. If you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment down below and if you are looking to consistently catch inshore fish from your kayak go to www.saltstrong.com and check out the inshore kayak fishing mastery course